can bring that back to the nest at the stand. Any idea what's underneath our feet, Mr. Geologist? Not really. It looks like a dust deposition. Some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh, there's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. That way, look. It looks like the rust has formed into a bigger chunk. I thought it smelled good around here. miss this one. For here or to go? To go. Too bad. Do shrubs are completely covered. I hope this one will yield some nice and juicy fruit to thank us. There must be others. If we're lucky, they'll bring us back to the nest. I know, right? find the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh, we should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you.
Come on. Don't be scared. A big bug like you. Another one. What was that noise? Ugh, oh, my stomach. It needs to be fed soon. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Deserted. Not a desert. According to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the Apiary, with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. High seismic activity? I don't know. The file doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we don't have any more unpleasant surprises.
We're here. We found the nest. But in what state? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You could make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hold on. We decide to escape the Apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right, but we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You. We are the luckiest people in the universe. That's... that's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life. With our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that loot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. <sighs> what did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah. We'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax. If you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want. But I am going to bed. I'm not hungry. I never thought I would hear you say that in my whole life. I guess my stomach has a deep connection to the nest condition. Do you want to tidy up a bit? No. Tomorrow. I don't feel strong enough right now. Okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! I was awake. I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. For real? It used to happen when I was a teenager. You feel something weighing on your stomach? Yeah. On my chest. What was it? I don't know. I used to call it the ball, because sometimes it felt like a huge ball was crushing me. Oh. No, that didn't happen to me. I wouldn't wish it upon you. For me, it resolved itself when I left the foster home. For you, it may be related to the nest. But I don't want to leave the nest. That's not what I meant. You're stuck to the bed. The nest is stuck to the ground. There must be something in that. You've been flying in this thing for years. 
I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. There's kind of an apple dew taste. It's in there. Hey, you never told me. What did your mate look like? Eh, I don't know. Didn't you get her file from the matchmaker? Yeah, I did. But I never really looked at it. Seriously? You're not even curious? Well, no. I already knew you. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, we'll look at it together. If you wish. Oh, all right. Any other pictures? Yeah. Hmm. 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 She's kind of cute. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Now that you mention it. Ugh, as if you needed me to have an opinion about a girl. I'm sorry. I have the most beautiful of them all with me. 24-7. I need a little bit of time so I can forget her face and give the other ones a chance. Hmm. You're such an idiot. Come on, let's check her profile instead of this foolishness. Let's see. Interests. Reading, music, having a drink with my friends. Whoa. Do you think he can handle such a strong personality? <laughs> That's harsh. Job. Ocean biology research assistant at the University of Ox. Huh. Okay. Looks like you two are made for each other. No one is made for each other. That's the kind of rhetoric the matchmaker uses. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But it still looks to me like that was a bleeding good pick. You'd make a great couple might have made. There is a difference.
What if we grabbed a little snack for the road? Huh, sounds good. I'll bring the first aid kit as well, just in case. <laughs> Did it move? No, I don't think so. Balding blunt! Ugh, it's over. It's not going back straight. We'll never be able to fix it. We are condemned to living on an incline in a broken ship forever. Until our body adapts and one of our legs starts shrinking to even us out. What's the issue exactly? Well, the back pain will be crazy, for one. And also, I don't know about you, but I personally like having a reasonably symmetrical body. I meant with the track the globe. Ah. Not enough power, it seems like. The battery drains out even before lifting the nest a centimeter off the ground. Although to be fair, it was originally designed to lift cargo crates into ships. Not the ships, themselves. What if we plugged it into a flow spring? I thought about that, but we'd have to be able to seal the pipe shut. Unfortunately, I don't think they make gaskets for flow springs from a distant planet. Perhaps we can make one. With what? Paper mache? Remember yesterday when I told you that rust scatters when it comes in contact with flow? We could use that feature to sculpt a gasket out of pieces of rust. You could do that? I don't think I could sculpt a nude statue of you or a super complex component, but molding a gasket? That seems doable. That's awesome! <laughs> Hold on, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down. Excuse me? You've never heard of that saying? No. Uh, must be a truth thing then. That means let's not celebrate before we... Yeah, yeah. I got it. Anyway, how much rest do you need in order to... <laughs> pull the panties down? Uh, I don't know. Four or five blocks like those we already got? Okay, so let's try and find that. 